Today I want to go over one website that I think is absolutely amazing and you should actually start using it. This is my first time trying it out, but I think it's so, so useful. So this is weblmarina.ai where you actually get model rankings for all of the available models and you can see how these models perform which organization they come from, how many votes they have. And here what we can see on the web dev arena, we can see here that the best model is Claude Sonnet 3.7 followed by Gemini 2.5 Pro. And here we can see the confidence intervals, how confident the results are. And here it seems like Claude 3.7 is actually the best model and it's statistically significant. And you can find all of the other models as you go down. So this is interesting. This is a free benchmarking chat website or whatever. And you can come here and open up a new chat on the web lmarina.ai. So you can actually ask it to do specific things like rate sites or whatever. And essentially what you do is you benchmark and compare models. So I'm going to get started by giving it the first prompt. You can also ask it to surprise you or whatever, but I'm going to tell it to create an SEO optimized SPX 500 calculator, make it look nice, modern and professional. So we're going to get responses from two models. So I'm really interested to see how this site works because you can pretty much use it for free. Essentially, they allow you to do this kind of requests and you get free requests because you actually get to compare two models. And this allows them to create a very good benchmarking result. And of course, probably they sell this data back to the companies. So they make a profit at the end of the day or, you know, they just increase their valuation. So we can see a comparison of two models. The left one is very, very fast. So this is probably like kind of a mini model. This is a lot slower. So this is probably a bigger model. So my first expectation is that the left model is going to be worse than the model on the right because it's faster. So it's smaller, but this is not always the case. All right. So really excited to see the result. We can see here they use actually react from the get go. Maybe it's actually next JS. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the result. And they also got a preview. So you can actually see a preview of what they created. And yes, indeed, the model on the right is a little bit more good looking. Let's see the results. And yeah, the model on the right is a lot more detailed, more good looking. So the right is better. So that's what we answer. And we can start a new round. It selects two new other models. So this is also very nice. So we're going to give it a second prompt. And of course, you can really just go ahead and use this model for whatever you want to create because it just makes sense. Uh, you know, you have free LLMs. The only thing you have to do is just vote on these kind of LLMs. And that's all you got to do. You just got to give your vote, which I think is very fair because they give you, you know, AI for free. You just say which one is good, which one is not good, and you're done. And an, another thing that I wanted to tell you in this case is that on my website, which is down below in FX services, we've got loads of courses that you can do for free right now. And I would be very excited to see you inside one of these courses. You can click to view all courses and I will keep adding new free courses in the next few days and weeks. And I'm super excited for you to become a member of these. Also, we've got an AI tools list, which is again down below. And here you can find pretty much all of the models that we have talked about in the past. And yeah, I think this AI tool list is very, very useful. So, so let's go ahead and see what the results show. We've got like this block, this model here did not even run. And the model on the left is probably Gemini 2.5 or maybe Deepseek, one of these two. Left is better, that's for sure. Failed to submit vote. So something strong, strange did happen indeed. So maybe we have to run it again. Let's just run one more request again. Okay, so we actually got one of the two models to answer already. I have a very big confirmation bias that the right model is probably a diffusion model and it looks very nice. The result is very good. It was super fast. It like one shot did the result, which is crazy. And yeah, FAQ, get started. 
looks very nice, very nice website. The left one is probably some kind of deep seek. Again, not a bad model, but I think, I think the model on the right done a better job, in all honesty. The one in the left has more information, so probably maybe it's a reasoning model. Uh, it did some kind of pre-planning. I don't know, actually. Which one is better? This one looks better, but this one has more information. We can also ask a follow-up. Please go deep into the architecture details. Make sure to make the websites look as good as possible. Okay, so we can also ask a follow-up and they will have to like improve on the answer or so I guess. I don't see anything running. Let's see. Create a more detailed website. Make it look nice and clean. Okay, so we're asking for the follow-up and just compare how fast the right model is in terms of giving the answer compared to the model on the left. It's really day and night, it's day and night. But both models are super slow right now. The left one starts right, the right one will just one shot it, boom, or maybe not, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so we're going to give them a fair chance by asking follow-up questions. And you know, this is amazing because you can just write code, write requests here, completely for free. So why pay for chats? Literally, we've got so many tools also on the Noetech Services website. You got so many tools for free to use every day that you don't really have to pay for AI anymore. That's just the truth. It's just the truth, my friends. There is no reason for you to pay for AI. And boom, it actually once sorted it. You can see it here on the right hand side, it just boom, it went there. So it's probably a diffusion model. So here we can see more, more details, uh, architecture details, these component things don't work, but we can see more information, we view the documentation, I have no idea if that works. And I think in this case, the left one is maybe better. I don't know, I think it's a tie actually. Okay, so failed to submit vote for some reason, I don't know why, it's a little buggy. Okay, so new vote submitted, and we're going to do one more request, final request, I promise guys. So let's see what things exist. Design and delivery track interface, not really interested in that. A simple 2D browser game. Okay, so we actually clicked something else. Design a project management tool with Gantt charts and task dependence. Okay, whatever. We did not create a game. It's fine. Let's see the result. Okay, so you know, this, this is a very good chat option because it's free to use. Um, you get answers from two models, which is underestimated. You don't actually wait for one model to answer. You get answers from two. So you can select which one you like. This is arguably a Gemini model. One of the first ones, maybe 1.5 thinking or 2.0 thinking. The only problem with this is that you actually never, or usually you don't get a SOTA model here, okay? You get some kind of model, but you don't know what it is and probably it's not the best model out there or maybe the model that is best suited to your use case. But still, you can do loads of generations for free and you can get two AI models to work on your answer and you can select which one you prefer at the end of the day. So I think it's pretty fine. I think it's pretty fair. A good value proposition from uh, WebM, uh, WebL Marina. And yeah, we can see here the result. It tried to do way too many things and it failed. So I guess both are bad. I'm not excited about any of this. So this is it. Oh, it shows you exactly which model it is after you give the answer. So this was indeed 2.0 Pro Experimental, you know? And this is Stargazer. I've got no idea what this is. Maybe it's from OpenAI, maybe. So. Thank you so much for watching another video. Hopefully you find this useful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.